Hello YouTube and Mr. Forks back with another Toon Boom tutorial um, and today we're going to be looking at a tutorial that has been requested um, by a few people so I thought you know bite my tongue do it because it could be quite lengthy hopefully it won't be and that is um, rigging up a character in Toon Boom Studio so let's get started what we need is quite a few drawing elements first. So first off, create the body. Oh, sorry. Press the plus. We're gonna have a head. Press the plus. Right arm upper. Right arm lower. You can see where, where I'm going with this, can't you? Right hand, left arm upper, left arm lower, <laughs> left hand, you could probably skip forward this but I would watch it so that you know exactly what parts you need, um, left leg upper, now, this is the Dan Allen way of doing it. Left leg, lower. There are other ways to do it, but I believe this way to be the best way. Right leg, upper. Now, I'm not going to do feet because I'm going to demonstrate the technique using on the hands. So, right leg, lower. Um, and I believe that's all we need for now. So let's get started. Do I tell you what? We're gonna add a waist. Okay, so first of all we're gonna create the body. So grab our paint tool, go into camera mode, it will be easier to do. Now I'm gonna draw this guy very quickly. You spend lots more time than I. And what you want to do is draw a bit as if you're going to do a arm, and then don't. Grab a thing for the neck, like that. And I'll tell you what, we're going to create a little neck like that. That'll be easy to use. But what we do need to do, so that we can colour it in, is we do need to do a line like that. And a line like that. Now, the reason we do that afterwards is so that we can get rid of them lines really easily. Grab our fill tool, we're going to give him like a cool green top. Grab a skin color, color in his neck like that. Now, when we grab our selection tool, we can literally just delete them lines that we put in. Okay, so that's our body. Um, we're going to draw the head. It's quite easy to do. Well, I'd say easy to do. I'm going to struggle here. So let's draw a nose. Let's give it him an unhappy face because of how badly drawn he is. Doesn't matter if it doesn't line up too well, we can move it. That is pretty bad hair, if I'm honest with you. Let's grab our skin colour. Let's feel the face. Let's grab like a brownie colour. Let's fill the hair. Go back to our black. Um, now we can grab this head and we can move it down slightly so that it overlaps there a bit better. Um, right arm upper. Now the way we do this, grab our paint, pen tool, sorry, paint tool, whatever you want to call it. And what you do is you draw a circle like that that's going to give him some sleeves and then we did the same thing we did earlier by leaving that blank and I'm going to go back and colour it in a bit right arm lower create that circle again leave that bit blank, right hand, create the circle, ok, 
Okay, they're awful hands. <laughs> what the what the hell is that? You know, I I I that is it's beyond describing. From one, that looks like a hoof. That does. Um, this arm needs to go up for longer like that. Um, now we need to repeat it on the other side, which I'm going to do even quicker. So that I'm not wasting your time, so you can have a go. Create that little like loop thing. And you know what? I'm gonna draw the hand joined. <laughs> what the <laughs> it looks like um that thing out of what's it called? Um prototype. And let's get rid of the hand element. Delete element. There we go. Um let's colour it quickly. I don't know what colour I used. Um, left arm upper. Yep. Good guess, Daniel. Where's the right arm upper? Our skin colour was here. Like that. Right arm lower. Skin colour. Right hand. Skin colour. Left arm, skin colour, left arm lower, skin colour. There we go. And now we need to get rid of them lines. Uh, left arm upper, let's get rid of that line. Left arm lower, get rid of that line. Right arm upper, get rid of that line. Okay, so. As you can see, our body is starting to take some kind of shape, if you can call it that. Um, now we want to create the waist. Let's grab our black pen. Waist. Here we want to create like a circular thing. Like that. We can fill that like a um, table. We'll fill it a colour near the top so we don't have to keep on going down. Let's give him some kind of thing. Let's make him a scene. Okay. Right leg up. Let's put our black pen. Check that. He's got pretty hot legs. Like that. Right leg lower, use the same circle technique. There you go. And you can do feet. Wow, that's, I like the shape of that. It looks like a really cool boot. Left leg upper. Left leg lower. That one's not so good. Now let's fill it. Like that. Now we need to get rid of that lines. Now what happens if you've actually drawn it connected to there? Well there is a tool under the eraser, there's a scissors sorry. A cutter tool. What you can do is cut like that, and then it cuts that into a separate piece and you can delete it. There's also a scissors tool where it lets you create a selection and that creates a separate object out of it like that, but the only problem with that is that you are getting rid of some of the fill. I will do that for time purposes though. Um, left leg upper. Okay, right. So we've got that. We're just going to grab the waist and delete that. Boah. Okay, well, that's where we're going to leave it there for part one. And part two, we're going to start to organize this body and make these parts move. So I will see you then.